hi guys welcome back to my channel make sure you guys like comment subscribe share and turn on the screen bell to be the whenever i make a post i smile like this anyways thank you guys for watching the like previous video and i'm glad at least two people left comments and i was like okay i'm not the only one that feels this way and asha like i i like that i got comments so hopefully when more people watch the video they'll leave more comments so today i'll try and sorry today we're going to make what was in it today we're talking about why women are not married is that even a thing it is a thing actually and why i want to talk about this is that society even though we are the society but that's what i'm going to say society just like puts pressure on like women to be married it's like if you're not married you're not a human being and i'm like i don't understand but like it's like even you know when women when you graduate from school and you do nyc and stuff there is a pressure of oh get a job and stuff like that start a business do something with your life you do that and the next thing you're asking for is for husband like i don't want to marry yourself but so i'm just going to like um list some points i believe people are not women are not married that's what i'm going to talk about i don't want anything i say please don't take it the other way because this is okay so let's just start i'm wasting time so the first thing i have here it's not the first thing but i'm saying it first is like um past bad experiences I was watching a video of like Iabo Ojo when she was talking about like her former husband, how he didn't love her before getting married, that he only married her because she was pregnant and stuff like that. And she only discovered that after they got married. And that like she tried her best to keep the marriage to keep the marriage intact, but like everything was just it didn't just work out. So I believe I'm going to say I believe because I don't actually know what it is. Like what happened and stuff but i believe that this kind of experience is going to not want her to marry anybody again especially where she's at in her life she has money her children are grown i believe that with that kind of experience the last thing on her mind is come is to go and marry one one man that's like the last thing on her mind she has a business she has a house that she just opened and stuff like that so i believe something like that is enough to just put just like put somebody's mind away from getting married in general and um another thing is that let me say something i just googled like how many men are in, in nigeria there are about 105 million men going to 106 million men some of them are sick they are hospitalized probably like in mental okay, mental hospital those ones obviously can't get married some some are gay. So some women's husband are already be taken away by other men. Um, what else again? There are a lot of factors that okay, some people can't um they have low sperm count, stuff like that. So they are like, What's the point of me getting married? They're just like, Well, let me just forget about marriage. So out of that one oh five million men, there are some already that have this message that I'm not, I'm not getting married and stuff like that. So that's already removed out of all the men that we are supposed to get married to. You understand? So what you learn here? So the other point I have here is spec. Yes, every woman has a spec. And it's so I believe also it's important to marry somebody. It's important to stay single all your life than marry somebody who is going to kill you. Not literally kill, but frustrate you, make you not um push forward with your dream somebody will be like ah she bought you university what's the end of getting a master's after two, two, two children instead of telling me oh how do you want to manage this so blah 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 how we plan around the children so that you'll be able to get your master's or your doctorate or whatever some people are just hindrances in people's lives and you need to marry somebody who is going to be willing to accommodate your dreams into their own life and stuff like that so it can be difficult finding somebody who doesn't believe women's places to cook and clean and take care of children that's all so i feel some women just think it's better instead of 
marry someone that's going to frustrate me and make my life a living hell. Why don't I be a rich auntie and have money and flex my life? Like, do you know what I'm saying? At least they are happy. And there's always, you can always, like, adopt children and stuff like that. So, that's no, like, a point. So, the next point I have here is, um, there are some men, actually. They don't see women as anything. They're like, women are trash. Um, isn't a woman that made Adam eat the apple? I see she forced it down his throat. And they are just like, oh, um, women are not worth your time and stuff like that. They don't just like women. It's not like they like men either, but they don't like women. And it's like, I can't get married to one. Imagine a woman marrying that type of person. How their life would be? It's better to stay single. It's better, right? Then. What else do I have here? Okay, I've already said some people are gay. And there are some some of these admirals and stuff like that. People who drink, smoke, like heavily. Not just occasional stuff, but like heavily. And their life totally revolves around smoking and drinking. Imagine that kind of person being married to somebody. Don't you think they are going to frustrate that person's life? steal their money and to go and smoke weed like you just i don't understand what i'm trying to say it's just there are some men that are just unmarriable don't marry them if not you you just end it to end in tears you end in divorce and you have children and only you take care of them this is a serious issue actually but what i'm just trying to actually say is that Society shouldn't place the value of a woman um, on her getting married. There are some things that actually is just beyond our control. And is it what I feel is that not everybody is going to get married. That is, let me say that is a fact. It's not possible for every Tom, Dick and Harry to be married. You shouldn't see a woman and be like, oh, shorty marry. When they say no and you're now looking down on her. I don't understand. It's just, I wish people would stop judging those who are not married, like at a certain age or stuff like that. Because it's not necessary. Some people are married and they are not happy. I assure you, they are not happy. They are just staying in that marriage because they have children. They are looking at what people will say if they get divorced. They are looking at what this one say, what that one say, trying to cover rep. There are so many people who are unhappy in their marriages. So, I believe it's better to be single, rich, happy, be traveling the world, and to come and die. Because they are beating you, and be having bruise. You go to work, and they are like, ah, kiloshe, ah, moja wolori stiers ni. It doesn't make sense. I don't think I'm putting, like, enough seriousness in this, but I actually, I'm taking this thing seriously. People should stop placing a value. Sorry, placing... Wow, English. Just stop putting... I can't speak English anymore. But like basically, people shouldn't judge people who are not married. It's not a cool thing. Some of those people who are not married wish they were married. And there's nothing they can do about it. It's already enough that they may be looking at themselves somehow. They don't need other people looking at them that way. Themselves looking at themselves that way. Uh, the English wasn't good, but I guess you guys get what I'm saying. That kind of thing. And... There was this article I was reading on my WhatsApp that is sent to me. And it was just like, it was about a lady. She had a job. She had everything going on in her life. But she wasn't married. And she was basically just saying why she wasn't married. She had a good job. I think in an oil company. She was making her do. Like, the girl is a... But the problem was that the people who kept on trying to marry her, probably most of them wanted to be getting her full salary. Most of them wanted to demean her as a woman she was looking for somebody who they could have that intellectual conversation with and like feel equal and the man you know there are some people that have inferiority complex and they feel because she's making more money they automatically start feeling low about themselves and as they're feeling low about themselves they'll be putting pressure on the woman so that she'll not feel bad about herself if you get what i'm saying so she didn't just she hasn't up till now found somebody who 
she believes they are going to like spend rest of their life together and it's not her fault honestly so people shouldn't blame anybody who isn't married at a certain age it's just painful and stuff i just i find it painful we are struggling for from so many other things to be bothered about it's like adding another thing to the list of worries which is not it's not nice honestly so i'm going to end the video now make sure you guys like comment subscribe and if you have if you have anything you want me to talk about just comment down below or if you cannot comment send me an email my email address is always there or send me a dm on instagram and we'll see what we can do about it i've been wearing this for like the past 10 videos and this but please i didn't bring up my clothes from Ibadan and don't don't come and be crucifying me and the reason I'm filming in the car is because most times inside the house there's always somebody opening a door or something like that. So the car gives me that only me vibe and there's nobody calling me or that kind of thing. If they're calling me, I can't even hear. So it's like I'm shut out. I bet I shut myself out of the world. Whatever. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share and stuff like that. Anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments. Send a DM, send an email, whatever you want to do. You understand what I'm saying, man? So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.